Bienvenidos, buenas noches en América Latina y el Caribe. Muy buenos días en China y Oceanía. Bienvenidos al foro sobre el desarrollo del proyecto de Chino Más. En este caso, Chino Más es Chino Más Especialidad o Carrera Universitaria. Un foro realizado por CLEC Beijing y la Fundación CLEC Oficina Regional para América Latina y el Caribe. Este idioma, este foro, será impartido en idioma español, chino, inglés y portugués. Pueden seleccionar su idioma en la parte inferior de la pantalla. Me presento, soy Roberto Lafontaine, director del Centro Regional de Cooperación Internacional para Enseñanza de Idiomas, en este caso Lengua China, Center for Language Education and Cooperation, Oficina Regional para América Latina y el Caribe. Nuestro centro en América Latina y el Caribe se dedica a la enseñanza y difusión del idioma chino entre instituciones públicas, privadas, gobiernos nacionales, gobiernos locales, instituciones de educación superior, instituciones de educación secundaria y primaria. CLEC pertenece al Ministerio de Educación de China. Hoy en este foro hablaremos sobre experiencias en la construcción y administración del proyecto Chino Más, proyecto que busca insertar la enseñanza del idioma chino en diferentes áreas de especialización en las diferentes carreras universitarias en las regiones de América y Oceanía. Hoy abordaremos este proyecto desde los modelos y división del trabajo entre universidades chinas y extranjeras, las dificultades, obstáculos encontrados y las políticas de apoyo necesarias para el desarrollo de este interesante proyecto. Saludamos a representantes de universidades de China, América y Oceanía, responsables de instituciones educativas de la enseñanza de chino, profesores de chino y entusiastas del aprendizaje de este idioma que nos acompañan hoy y quienes no han podido estar presentes. Today, we welcome representatives from university in China, America and Oceania, heads of the Chinese teaching institutions, the Chinese teachers and the Chinese learning institutes who are with us today, also those who could not be present, but watching this recording. Center for Language Education and Cooperation del Ministerio de Educación de China. Bienvenida, señora Yuan Li. Welcome. Uh, xie xie, xie xie Roberto, uh, Thank you so much, Roberto. Uh, 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 friends. Uh, it's been a long time. Today, I'm so honored to represent uh, in this forum have a speech. Firstly, my speech is to represent uh, the Vice Rector Jingwei and uh, recently the COVID-19 in Beijing is complicated and uh, some people have the symptom about it and the Vice Rector Jingwei and uh, he has the symptom of the COVID and he can speak, she can speak. So I, on behalf of her, to see to see my her, her apologies to us and uh, i will introduce the clec respectable Juan Jose robert roberto the vice rector chu rongliang vice rector xiao hai rong distinguished guests and friends good morning and good evening to you all I am very pleasant to be invited to attend the forum on the development of Chinese Plus program in the Americas and Oceania region. On behalf of CLEC, I would like to extend a warm welcome and a sincere thanks to all the guests and friends who have attended today. I would like to thank you all the experts for attending the Chinese Plus forum and look forward to hearing your insights. From 8 to 10 December, more than 2,000 delegates 
from around the world participated on the online and offline activities of the 2022 International Conference on Chinese Language Education, and together they contributed to the development of a new pattern of quality international Chinese language education. The Chinese language of education exchange to meet and uh, starting on the in the well future, more than 30 for forums where delegates will continue to share their wisdom and build a consensus on innovative practice and uh, best uh, practices. At this year's conference, as well as on many other occasions, delegates and experts from all over the world have talked about the same topic, how to further enhance the relevance of Chinese language to meet the needs of, of all kinds of Chinese language learners in terms of professional further education and the career development, talking, taking into account local conditions and the trends. This proposition suggests a direction for us Chinese language education practitioners to consider. That is on the basis of the universal significance of Chinese language education in promoting cultural exchange and uh, mutual appreciation and civilizations to promote the practical value of Chinese professional or vocational education so that more and more Chinese language learners can master skill and stand out of the workplace and more and more enterprises can be able to provide Chinese language education for their students. More and more companies are recruiting people with a combination of professional discipline or vocational skills and proficiency in Chinese. In recent years, in order to respond to the new situation and the demand for Chinese language education, enhance the practical value of Chinese language serves the economic and the social development of host countries. The CLEC has based on the basic attributes and international Chinese language education, vocational education, and professional education, strengthening cooperation with Chinese and foreign education authorities and territory institutions adhere to the basis of Chinese language teaching, vocational education, and professional disciplines as a characteristics with the quality improvement as the core and the integration of industry and the education as a way. While taking pilot projects as a lead, in Chinese in addition, we have supported a series of innovative projects as Chinese Plus, Chinese Medicine, Tourism, Agriculture, High-Speed Railway, Logistics, Business, which pilot projects as a lead, providing Chinese learners from different countries with a variety of language learning, vocational training, and employment development opportunities. In Americas and Oceania region, and the Chinese Plus pilot project has made some progress based on the cooperation base and the stresses of Chinese the foreign universities. For example, the South China Agriculture University has opened the world first Chinese Plus agriculture, science, and education development centers in Mexico and Brazil. The Chinese Plus engineering program at the University of San Domas in Chile is a precedent for development of Chinese Plus professional programs in Latin America. Liaocheng University and other Pacific Island countries co collaborated on the first Chinese Plus climate change project on global concern of climate change. Beijing University of Traditional Chinese Medicine and the University of the Western Sydney collaborated on how to use the Chinese medicine to address the global health concerns. In addition, the Confucius Institute in PNG University and the Confucius Institute of Tourism at Griffith University's Chinese Plus Tourism course and the FAAP Confucius Institute in Brazil and the Australia International Business School's Chinese Plus Business. They are all successful attempts in the fields of Chinese Plus in Americas and Oceania's region. Next, each project we are share in the forum. We hope that the through the, this forum and also explore the potential needs of the Chinese Plus projects, discuss the model and divisions of labor between Chinese and the foreign universities, understand the existing difficulties and the challenges. And with the Christmas 2022 and the new year 2023, 
just around the corner. We, we, I wish you and your families a happy holiday. We welcome to visit Beijing and CLEC in 2023. And we will meet offline, discuss Chinese language education together. Thank you. Nuestra querida colega Sun Ming Yang. Quisiera pedirles a todos, por favor, incluidos los panelistas, que tengan apagado su micrófono para que no se produzca la interferencia que ya ocurrió. Quiero presentar ahora a los panelistas. Tenemos hoy día al señor Juan José Negroni, decano de Ingeniería de la Universidad Santo Tomás de Chile, al señor Hugh Haishuan, subsecretario del Comité del Partido de la Universidad Liao Shang, el señor Xu Rong Liang, vicerrector de la Universidad de Agricultura del Sur de China, quien por motivos de fuerza mayor no podrá estar en forma sincrónica, pero veremos su presentación en un video, video pregrabado. La señora Yu Ping, directora ejecutiva del Instituto Global de Comercio de Australia, la señora Shan Xi Wang, directora china del Instituto Confucio de Turismo en la Universidad Griffith en Australia, el señor Wang Kang, director del Centro de Medicina China en Sydney de la Universidad de Medicina China de Beijing, y el señor Shang Xiang, director chino del Instituto Confucio de la Universidad de Tecnología de Papua Nueva Guinea. Quiero pedirles especialmente a los panelistas, dado que en América Latina y el Caribe están tarde, que nos, por favor, sean muy precisos en los 10 minutos que tienen para exponer y no se pasen de la hora, porque tenemos que dar la oportunidad a todas las personas. Recuerden que mientras aquí empiece a avanzar va a ser medianoche y obviamente la gente ya está cansada, ha trabajado todo el día. Por lo tanto, por favor, a los panelistas, solamente 10 minutos. Muchas gracias. Ahora dejo con ustedes al señor Juan José Negroni, decano de Ingeniería de la Universidad. Now let's welcome the Juan José from the University of Santo Tomás in Chile. Thank you so much, Rob Bellotto. And uh, thank you so much, Joan Lee. And thank you for your invitation. Junto con saludarlos, quiero comentar que como hispanohablantes, eh, la lengua latina eh, son más fáciles. Eh, aprender francés, catalán, portugués uh, es mucho más fácil. As para a Spanish speaker, Latin languages are easier to learn, such as French, Catalan, and Portuguese. When we started to learn learning English at school, it was already presented to us as a challenge, but the grammar was not very difficult. Chinese at the top of the list of most spoken languages in the world. More than 1.116 billion people use Chinese to communicate. Specifically, one in six People. This is why our planning includes three stages of our professional and international. Quiero comentar con ustedes que el proyecto de Santo Tomás considera tres etapas de internacionalización. En las cuales destacamos el diagnóstico. Three stages. Judgment and cut through teaching strategies and research and development strategy. Lo hemos planteado en un espacio tiempo de aproximadamente cinco años. Hemos sido capaces. Five years plan. Actualmente, Ingeniería Civil Industrial, Ingeniería Civil en Minas y Geología. Estas carreras tienen 
in su desarrollo. The internationalization of higher education is a process of integrating international and intellectual dimensions in teaching research and services of an institution. And it needs to be a dynamic process rather than an isolated or separate action. In the field of teaching and learning, then this contributes to the purpose of universities to prepare them so that they are professionally equipped, equipped to deal with the challenges they face at a regional and international level. That is as part of the vocational course in civil and industrial engineering, mining, civil, engineering, geology, etc. que se puede hacer a través de páginas web o redes sociales, unir eh, las inquietudes de nuestros estudiantes, tanto en lo profesional como en lo social. Luego, la siguiente etapa, nosotros la hemos planteado como la posibilidad de invitar a, profesor, a profesores chinos y profesores de otros de otro lugares, ¿cierto?, que, que habiten en el país, que estén, en este caso, en Chile, para que puedan... Eh, estar y dictar asignaturas de especialidad en nuestras carreras. Además de ello, necesitamos generar espacios de discusión y análisis de, de artículos científicos que, que nos lleven a mancomunar un, una estrategia para poder lograr investigación conjunta para poder ir más allá de una simple discusión. Strategies, presentations, and, and analysis of foreign documents, video conferences with the students, professional from the other countries, regions, interaction with his students studying for a degree in other universities through web pages or social networks, inviting foreign teachers or professionals living in our country to give specific courses or lectures on the subject under the study, discussion and analysis of articles and published reading on science. To improve the ability of academic staff and the researchers to organize and communicate effectively and confidently, to attract a diverse group of students and scholars without language barriers and to enhance the international reputation for the quality of teaching and learning, research and innovation. In Technology Transfer and the Teaching Academic Transfer Center, Chinese is the perfect choice for expanding your career prospects it's the most widely spoken language in the world and can not only upgrade, but also help students to understand the rich Chinese culture compared to other universities. That is what sets Korea, such as engineering, apart. Este plan que nosotros tenemos a cinco años requiere también una ayuda y un esfuerzo diverso. Nosotros eh, queremos y, y estamos eh, trabajando con CLEC para que apoye a nuestras carreras. Que ya five year plan. CREC needs to support students in careers with Chinese language, provide scholarships for students and teachers. 
and establish links with Chinese universities interested in language and professional exchange, working together to build a greater intellectual integ integration and bring the Chinese Latin American academic communities close together. América Latina y especialmente a nosotros en Santo Tomás, que hemos sido capaces de colocar el idioma chino en nuestra malla curricular. Y obviamente emana una necesidad para poder mejorar este desarrollo. Son las becas. Necesitamos becas que nos sirvan para perfeccionar el chino. The scholarships should be used to perfect the Chinese language and can also be used for vocational professions, postgraduates and research, as well as short-term joint projects that can be set up between professions. Con chino mandarín en sus mallas. Esperamos eh, colocar otras, las nuevas carreras que estamos desarrollando, también fortaleciendo el chino mandarín. Hemos hecho una apuesta en la cual CLEC nos ha ayudado y ha compartido esta necesidad, y, y vemos que en conjunto podemos crecer mucho más. Muchas gracias. Nueve con tres. Thank, so, thank you so much. Un abrazo, muy buenos días a todos. Y muy buenas noches a los que están en América Latina. Good morning. Muchas gracias. And good evening. Por contarnos su experiencia. Thank you so much. Ha sido pionera también en América Latina respecto de las carreras de ingeniería más las especialidad de chino y lo importante para el futuro de nuestros alumnos. También cuáles son las proyecciones a cinco años y qué se requiere que CLEC apoye a estas carreras. Ahora quiero dejar con ustedes al señor Hu Haishuan, subsecretario del Comité de la Universidad Liao Shuan. Let's welcome Hu Haishuan from Liao Cheng University. Parece que no está el señor. Dejaremos entonces con ustedes al señor Hu Rong Liang. Lo podemos dejar para después, si o sí. Uh, hello. Uh, well, it's a change to South China Agricultural University or the Ocho University because just now. Okay. Uh, because of the COVID, our wise. Thank you. Dear Vice Director Jingwei, colleagues and experts from Chinese Latin American universities, hello everyone. I am the Vice Rector Chu Rongliang from South China Agriculture University. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to CLEC of Ministry Education. Today, I'm very honored to participate in this Chinese Plus Forum and as for the Americans and Oceania region on behalf of my university. I would like to sh share my experience of the Chinese Plus program with other institutions. Here, I would like to report on the development of Chinese language plus agricultural science and education development center with Latin American countries. South China Agricultural University is located in Guangzhou, the core city of the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau Bay Area has a history of 113 years and is the only agriculture related national double first class university in South China Agricultural University. This university has an advantage on agriculture, science and life science and is a multidisciplinary and comprehensive university. It is also one of the most important windows for 
foreign exchange and cooperation in agriculture in Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Bay Area, in order to promote the mutual benefit and integrate between China and the Latin American countries in the field of agricultural education and science. In December 2020, the university initiated and led to the formation of the China-Latin American Alliance for Agricultural Education, Science and Technology Innovation. Over the past two years, the China Latin American Alliance has actively promoted practical cooperation with its Latin American Alliance members in, in this area, such as agricultural talent training, scientific research and technological training, and the construction of agricultural science and technology demonstration parks and national research centers. At present, the Alliance member have reached 67 agriculture related universities, research institutions, and enterprises in 15 countries, and nearly 40 inter university cooperation agreements have been signed, making an important contribution to the sustainable development of agriculture in China and Latin America. As the level of the cooperation in agricultural science and technology with Latin America continues to grow, and we are increasingly aware of the important role that international education in Chinese plays. Chinese is currently the most spoken language in the world. How to play the role of the language as a bridge between culture and ideas and how to help cooperation between China and the Latin America. At the end of 2021, the university first pro proposed the idea of using language learning as a bridge to enhance humanistic exchanges and agricultural science and technology cooperation between China and Latin America, achieving the one plus one to effect at the Forum and the Rector of China, Latin America, and the Caribbean. This initiative with Chinese language plus agriculture as its core have received an enthusiastic response from Latin American countries, as well as the endorsement and the support from CLEC. On 15 July 2022, South China Agriculture University signed an agreement with the CLEC to support the establishment of the Chinese Plus Agriculture Science and Education Development Center for China and Latin America. At the same time, the, Ch the university signed agreements with the Autonomous University of Chapingo in Mexico and the Federal University of the Mato Grosso in Brazil for the establishment of the Chinese Plus Agriculture Science and Education development center, becoming the first Chinese plus agriculture science and education development center in the world. The university and the Latin American University and jointly committed to cooperation and exchange in language teaching, cultural heritage, agriculture education, scientific research skills, training to create a global center of the excellence in Chinese plus agriculture in order to run the center well. With the support, the guidance of CLEC, we have been full communication with our Latin American partners, actively exploring and researching a serious consensus and how to carry out the work of the center, improve the working me mechanism and enhance the operation and the decision make level. The two sides set up a special working group and clarify their work to responsibilities and establish a separate Chinese and the foreign center and management teaching staff. The two sides set up console in review the center's development plan, personnel, finance, teaching, and budget management systems, and it initiates the selections of center director. At the same time, the university have set up a management of for the Chinese plus agriculture science and education development center, which is responsible for the day-to-day -day management to operation for the center. To, the center's platform and the inter internet the exchange language teachers between universities. Despite the impact of the pandemic, we have taken full of advantage of internet to carry out the substantial language and cultural exchange program since the first half year. We have been teaching online Chinese and Spanish course with the autonomous in Mex university in Mexico and currently have eight Chinese language classes. And in the half second half of semester, we also offered online Portuguese courses in federal university in Brazil. At the same time, we also offer Chinese language courses in Mexican and Brazil university. Establishing an international curriculum with Chinese language 
characteristics and optimism international communication system of Chinese language. We have organized the teachers to develop teaching materials for the Chinese plus agriculture program, expand, expand enrich and supply of the public education products in China and Latin America through the Chinese language program establish the and improve the content and grasp the cooperation in agricultural education in Latin America, promote mature the cultural inter integration and appreciation between China and Latin America and contribute to the innovation and the sustainable. And it will contribute to the innovative and sustainable development of the international Chinese agricultural education in China and Latin America in the post pandemic era in the future. South China Agriculture University will cooperate with the Latin American universities under the guidance of CLEC and to play a role to play a role of the bridge between the center of the Chinese Latin American government's research institution. In the future, South China Agriculture University will cooperate with the Latin American universities under the guidance of the CLEC and focus on the following exchanges. Implementing the two existing Chinese plus agriculture projects, strengthening Chinese language teaching and cultural exchange, and building the center's global demonstration and leading effects, exploring the common needs of both sides, taking advantage of the uh, and establishing and integrating platforms for cooperation in agriculture, science, and education, and promoting staff exchanges as cooperation, continuously enrich the connection. The connotation and the practice of the Chinese plus agriculture science and education cooperation mechanism so as to integrate into the global science and technology innovation network in more protective manner and jointly enhance the agricultural science to play a role as a bridge between Chinese between the center and the Chinese Latin American research institutions and enterprises promote in-depth cooperation Finally, looking ahead the future work of the center, we hope that the relevant work will be supported by the Chinese and Latin American government in terms of the policies and the funding. And now the center will receive more support in terms of operating funds, faculty, training and talents, academic exchanges, cultural dimensions, industrial integration, etc., so as to contribute to the sustainable development of the center. This will provide a strong support and a guarantee for the sustainable development center. Once again, I would like to thank the CLEC for the valuable opportunity to learn and exchange with our Chinese and Latin America counterparts. We look forward to the Chinese Plus project becoming more and more mature with the joint effects of us. And the Chinese international education will empower more fields and make great contribution to building a community of human destiny. Eh, proyectos y sobre todo seminarios en conjunto respecto de agricultura más chino y esperamos poder seguir haciéndolo. Y ahora sí quiero dejar con ustedes al señor Hu Haishuan, subsecretario del Comité de la Universidad Liaocheng. Bienvenido. Yes, welcome, Hu Haixue, from Liaocheng University. Welcome. Vice Director Jingwei, experts, leaders. Hello, everyone. Good morning. First of all, I would like to thank the CLEC for its support for our international Chinese language education work over the years. And today, I'm honored to be invited to participate in the forum for the Chinese Plus program in university in the Americas and Oceania region. I would like to briefly introduce the basic situation of Liaocheng University Chinese Plus program in Oceania, mainly in the, mainly in the Pacific Island countries and invite all the leaders and the experts and to put forward your advice. First one is the background. In 
区域国别区研究，整合优势资源，成立了独立建设。The center was established 2012 as a first independent institution for the study Pacific Island countries in China. After more than a decade of development, the center has become a higher level construction unit of the Ministry of Education for country and regional studies and an important influential think tank in China. Over the years, relying on this think tank platform, the university has carried out extensive cooperation with exchanges with Pacific Island countries. It has signed into university cooperation agreements with the University of South Pacific Fiji and the National University of Samoa from 2016 to the present, it has sent six batches of nearly 30 education and teachers to Samoa and Tonga to carry out education programs. In September 2018, it cooperated with the National University of Samoa to build the Confucius Institute of the National University of Samoa, serving the needs of the Pacific Island country. On April 28, 2022, the opening ceremony of the China Pacific Island countries climate change of cooperation was held in Jinan Shandong Province. The opening ceremony held in Jinan Shandong Province, the city on the university's climate change center, was jointly established by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The Ministry of Ecology and Environment and the People's Government of Shandong Province is located in Liaocheng University. Second, development of Chinese Plus projects in Pacific Island countries. Since January 2019, it, entrusted by the Minister of Ed Education, our university have been carrying out education assistance projects in Tonga, including Chinese language teaching and uh, technology promotion. In the past four years, the, the two work of the teaching Chinese and promoting agricultural technology have been running on the same track and advancing in parallel. The agriculture teachers and have been actively breeding the promoting more than 40 crop varieties adapt to the various climate changes such as droughts, floods, and typhoon in response to the local climate change and soil conditions in Tonga. and have edited and complicated the bilingual safe and efficient vegetables farming in Tonga textbook and training manner. The Chinese teachers actively combine the teaching Chinese, teaching agricultural knowledge and the dimension Chinese food culture, making notice to the students, cooking Chinese dishes, recording video teaching, and create a Chinese learning atmosphere and motivate local students to learn. Since the establishment of the Chinese Cl Climate Change Center, the university have been actively planning to build on the foundation of the Confucius Institute. Education aid projects and cooperation and exchange with the universities in other island countries to further development. China and expand education exchange cooperation with the island countries through the joint efforts with, between schools and the lo localities, as well as the internal external cooperation. In 2022, the university was awarded the Oceans and Oceans Chinese Plus Climate Change Chinese Bridge online group exchange projects in order to ensure the smooth implementation and the program, the relevant units of the university actively mobile mobilized and the island channels to organize enrollment and invited the ambassador of Samoa, Ms. Chao Xiaoliang, and to deliver the speech on the opening ceremony. The Confucius Institute staff at the National University of Samoa and the three teachers from Tonga also provide a lot of support to school in terms of program promotion, student recruitment, and class organizations. In terms of the program designs, online group highlighted in some addressing climate change together. And in 2022, 
we hold the high education class from the Pacific uh, Pacific class. They started the climate protections and uh, some and uh, next step will be incorporate the Chinese Plus into the center's cooperation framework and work to expand the Chinese Plus program in Pacific Island countries. At the same time, on the basis of the national platform, Center for Climate Change, we will strive to seek support from higher authorities to set up the language and the climate research center to conduct academic research talent training and social services focusing on issues such like climate governance and linguistic and cultural diversity, climate diplomacy, discourse climate change co communication and climate language service to work with the university institutions at home and abroad. And the research and practice of Chinese climate change. The above summary is our university work on Chinese plus in Pacific Island countries. Ahora sí, estaba mudo. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Secretario, señor Hugh Haijan. Ahora quiero dejar con ustedes a la señora Yu Ping, directora ejecutiva del Instituto Global de Comercio de Australia. Bienvenida, señora Yu Ping. Let's welcome Miss, Miss Yu Ping. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Distinguished, uh, distinguished, I'm Selena from Australia Business School. Now I will open my PowerPoint. Thank you so much for the CLEC. I'm very honored to participate and share some interesting and influential Chinese culture. I listened uh, and all the projects from around the world. It's impressed. Muchas gracias, muy amable. Thank you so much. Can you hear me? Sí, se escucha bien. Ah, pensé que estaba terminando. Sí. Okay. Podríamos seguir con el, la nueva expositora y después retomarla al final. Okay. Les pido, por favor, un minuto mientras vemos si podemos reconectar con la señora Yuping o si no, vamos a pasar a la señora Shang Shi Wan de la Universidad de Griffith. Señora Shang Shi Wan, creo que la podemos escuchar ahora. Hello, everyone. Good morning and good evening, everyone. It's a good opportunity to share our Tourism Confucius Institute in Chinese Plus Tourism. I'm sharing the PowerPoint.
this is uh, harm in the exploring the development and the practice of the collaborative project based on the Ch Chinese language teaching tourism Confucius Institute for the Tourism at the Griffith University. Firstly, I will share our U Confucius Institute. The Tourism Confucius Institute is from the China, the China University of the Mining and the Technology, cooperates with the Griffith University in Australia. Up to this year, we opened the class for the Chinese teaching and for the office. It's already 10 years in this decade. We, from our Confucius, the China and the foreign directors, they make, they made influential success. For example, in 2012, September, the Colin Macres is outstanding contribution award, China-Australia relations. In 2014, acquired the Friendship Award. And in 2013, the China director got the advanced individuals. In 2016, we started the six Confucius classroom. In 2021, in December, after the transfer, the China University of the Mining and Technology with the Griffith University signed the new agreements. This Chinese project is a, some have some common with our other Confucius Institute. In 2011, is a very unique tourism Confucius Institute. For example, tourism Chinese and vacational Chinese is our unique part. I will talk about the tourism in Queensland, Australia, in airports, theater, museum, gallery, and have other parts for the staff. We start the training, for example, in airport for the management and for the services. The easiest uh, is communication Chinese. After the Chinese training, there are many Chinese in the international airport in Brisbane. Maybe some people speak in Chinese, say passport, passport, this way, please. This is the feedback of our Chinese training. For example, in theater, in Queensland theater, in fact, in our Confucius Institute, they have experienced six years training. And uh, they can use some simple greetings Chinese uh, to with the Chinese uh, stuff. And uh, it's a good communication between China and Australia. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that one is skating. For example, the Golden Coast uh, is a very good uh, skating center. And uh, they want to get some Chinese training in the surfing. And uh, it's, uh, it uh, helps uh, the development uh, of the tourism and uh, we provide uh, a very convenient turner. In vocation, uh, for example, in nursing home, international service, government, uh, and uh, is the main part uh, that uh, we start uh, the training. In this three years pandemic, uh, we played a very important role in government part. Uh, we aimed uh, into in some operations uh, with some staff. Uh, they worked uh, 
with the, the Chinese. And also we have some the v private uh, order for some mayors, for some councillors. And this outstanding Chinese uh, training, Chinese, Chinese plus, we make uh, some specific, specific uh, practice in Chinese training. Chinese plus tourism, we have three, we have several parts. We, it's the highlight to training. First one is based on the festival. For example, China and Australia festival spreading. For example, from spring festival to the Christmas, the circle in South, we overcome the difference of the season to formulate uh, some different, uh, for example, in, when we talk about uh, Christmas, for the Christ, they wear the short t-shirts. We overcome the climate uh, difference and uh, we use this uh, special part uh, and we spread, spread it. Second is cuisine culture. And I will present it. We hold the five Chinese cuisine festival. From the cuisine, we spread the Chinese cuisine culture. Third is we start the seminar about the international tourism. The fourth is tourism Chinese. Some starting plan. We from the CLEC, some projects. We for the middle school and the university and some rector's projects. And the fifth is in the tourism major exchange students for many students provide this opportunity to exchange. And in primary and middle school, the textbook develop, development in Chinese is our learning part. In Australia, tourism in this part is also our unique part. And the last in 2021, we apply for a project project. It's about the non-heritage project about tourism. We can't see the PowerPoint and can you reshare your screen? Let me share. I'm sorry if I didn't notice that okay, I'm not sharing. What about now? Is that okay? Good. Good. Now it's okay. I'm very sorry, okay. I'm, I didn't notice that I'm not sharing. Okay. And, uh, but what about my voice? Is, is my voice heard? Now it's okay. This is just now I talked about uh, the Chinese Plus Tourism Project uh, and uh, several unique parts. In Chinese Plus, the first one based on the Chinese festival, two sides spreading. The, in Dragon Boat Festival, it's in autumn in Australia. In, we have one the Dragon Boat uh, match held by our Confucius Institute. We all throw the Dragon Boat competition to spread the Chinese. Another one, through holding the Chinese cuisine festival from 2015 to 2019, tourism Confucius Institute uh, held uh, five, five festivals. We will invite uh, the mayor, 
counselors and some managers to participate. It spread the tourism culture and it makes the mayor and counselors acknowledge our activities. This I will share a picture. It's in 2017. It's the third Chinese cuisine. It's the mayor of the Brisbane. Uh, it's also a debt. So I think these activities we continually to hold it before the pandemic, but this years we stop it because of the pandemic. And we also hold some seminar. We continually to hold three three times. Twenty fourteen, twenty sixteen, twenty eighteen, in Brisbane, Shanghai, Golden Coast. We invite to talk about China and Australia, how to cooperate. At the same time, we have some space. Me, Director Shan, but uh, time is over. Please uh, resume. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, thank you so much. You can resume. Make a, a resume if you want. Okay. I think that is, uh, is my, my like a tourism future is, is usually focus on okay, and uh, the industry tourism and the cooperation between uh, Australia and China okay, in different tourist industry and also for um, exchange students and um, corporate uh, academic programs. I thank you okay, uh, for your time. Sorry for the okay, and, um, mistake about the PowerPoint sharing the video. Muchas gracias, so, directora Joan. Ha sido you. muy interesante su exposición. Además, hemos aprendido mucho de lo que ha hecho con el turismo. Así que estamos muy, muy impresionados. Mañana también CLEC, la Oficina Regional para América Latina y el Caribe, eh, hará un seminario sobre las perspectivas del turismo y los recursos turísticos post pandemia con invitados de China, de México, de Brasil y de Chile. Ahora quiero dejar con ustedes al señor Wang Kang, director del Centro de Medicina China en Sydney de la Universidad de Medicina China de Beijing. Y les reitero a los expositores, por favor, que sean respetuosos de los 10 minutos del tiempo. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much. Respectful, the host, Mr. Lafontaine, and uh, the director from the CLEC and uh, the Chinese teachers from around the world. Good morning. It's a great honor and uh, happy to participate in this Chinese Plus the Forum. I am the, I'm from the Beijing University of Chinese Medicine. Today, my topic, I will show my PowerPoint. Can you see my sharing screen? Okay, thank you. Today, I will share the exploration and practice of Chinese plus Chinese medicine, integrating international Chinese medicine teaching and uh, dis dissemination and to introduce 
the works uh, between our university. Firstly, I will introduce the overseas center. Now, the Chinese Medicine University have uh, four overseas center. The first one is uh, in Germany, established in 1990, is the earliest uh, center. Uh, 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 As a upper left is the question in Germany is the earliest overseas center. It's already 30, more than 30 years. In the project of the Chinese medicine to abroad, we established three overseas center. It's Australia Chinese Medicine Center, America Chinese Medicine Center, and this white building in Russia, Center Pittsburgh Chinese Center. Medicine Center in Russia. And today I will introduce in Australia and America Chinese medicine work. My introduction based on the five parts. Is that okay? Well, you know, what I should just use the channel. It's okay. 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 Presence of Chinese President Xi Jinping and Austria Prime Minister Tony Abbott. And uh, you can see this picture is the highest leader of our two countries. And uh, the left is the rector, and uh, the right is the New Sydney University rector. The China Australia Cooperative Project aims to promote the overseas dissemination of Chinese medicine for the benefit of Australia people. And it's an important part of the China-Australia free trade agreement. As a clinical basis, and for the clinical basis, have, there are three in Campbell Town, Westmint, and uh, Liverpool. And in these three places, our work is uh, a little bit different. In Campbell Town, it's uh, mainly for the clinical teaching in Westmint. Is opened for the locals of Sydney in Liverpool Hospital. We cooperate with the local to research some clinical research. Today, I will introduce the teaching works. I will talk about in the Campbell Town to see. And this picture is to cooperate with New Sydney University because our cooperation is the cooperation between university and the university for all the students from the undergraduate to postgraduate and the students, most students feel and experience the Chinese medicine and the have the good feeling about the Chinese culture and the Chinese medicine culture. And in the teaching, and for example, this is the Chinese medicine class. We will start some of the Chinese calligraphy and the evolution about the Chinese words. And this class, we will introduce some Chinese medicine and 
to introduce the background of the Chinese medicine. And in this picture, you can see there are many Chinese people. They are from they are from the China's university teachers. In 2017, we opened a project, invite some teachers about the Chinese medicine to participate in our Chinese teaching. And they also found in the local Chinese te medicine teaching is integrating the Chinese cultural elements and make them in the international Chinese teaching. And when they go, when they go back to China, and uh, they also use some of the Chinese uh, teaching method uh, into the Ch China's local teaching. And in second, uh, it's the clinical teaching. In clinical teaching, now it's mainly to start uh, some in clinical teaching, we plus some Chinese elements is few. It's because uh, take take some practice into considered. We mainly to introduce some the acupuncture and uh, and make them to easier to understand to uh, understand the aquapoints, uh, the background of aquapoints. For the Western country, maybe they just give the numbers for the aquapoints. For the aquapoints, for the functions of aquapoints, it's very hard to remember. When we use Chinese to name, the, to tell the meaning of the aquapoints, and they will know, they will, it's good for them to remember the aquapoints. And the, and this pharmacy is a very advanced pharmacy pharmacy in university. When the students choose the internship, they can they can use the they can know all the name from the Chinese teaching class. A third we will make some the Chinese have some Chinese background and uh, have the interest in Chinese spread Chinese medicine spreading. We encourage them to start uh, some examination. This is uh, our undergraduate. Uh, she will graduate this year. She do she does some video in YouTube to for the local community and the people to introduce some concepts about the Chinese medicine and the basic philosophy about the Chinese medicine. And it's a very good between the local between the local culture and the Chinese culture play a very important role as a bridge and they can make these concepts to ex to explain to explain to, to make the local people easy uh, to understand easier this is the next year we plan to this project will go further and it's very lucky we get the CLEC support and the CLEC helped help us in Chinese plus Chinese medicine give us so much support. Next year, we plan to, for our Chinese traditional medicine students, we will open some Chinese class. We will invite 
the hum humanity faculties uh, teachers to create uh, some professional Chinese course into our Chinese medicine course. This is for it's a systematic than before. We also will hold some offline activities. We can appeal to more Chinese agriculture, uh, Chinese culture to spread our Chinese medicine. This is our plan for next year. Last one is a online lecture. Online lecture it's more spread than the further three, and its lecture is included for the traditional Kung Fu, Ba Duan Jing. For example, in Australia, this season is different. It's on keep in good health concept is different. According to the local culture, we adjust to the concept. We will invite some international famous, China, famous Chinese medicine professors come to our platform to give the lectures. This is research cooperation including in Europe, Malaysia, Australia, it mainly is a clinical cooperation. This is our website and WeChat official site in Australia. We will post some class information and some students' feelings and thinkings. And in this official size, we upgrade formally and welcome all the people to follow our official size. This year, we promote a virtual cure initiative because of the pandemic, we promote more than 30 countries, the lovers and the workers for the Chinese medicine. We recorded a video. It's a very meaningful thing that we made to make this year. And from this day, we knew many the Chinese medicine supporters from around the world. And we found that the Chinese medicine culture have so many supporters and lovers from around the world. And this, from this project for our Chinese medicine center, uh, uh, Last two minutes. I will briefly introduce our America Center, Chinese Medicine Center. American Chinese Center in 2016 established. At that time, is a minister, consular, and a consul general at the Chinese apps in the US. It's a big ceremony. In American Center, have the good advantages have a museum for the Chinese medicine. It's based on this museum, we, oh, we started to hold many educational and teaching activities in America. We, we are, don't rely on the universities. We get into some community primary school to spread the Chinese medicine. And uh, in Spring Festival, we hold uh, the Chinese medicine, the precious pre present to the world uh, exhibition for three years. And the last, uh, we have some online lectures. 
年和二一年。It's twenty twenty one, twenty twenty and twenty twenty one is the most serious of the COVID nineteen. We hold some lecture for the overseas students and for the old community. Above all, this is my introduction. Thank you for all your listening. Muchas gracias, director Juan. Les recuerdo a todos que en América Latina y el Caribe son las diez y media de la noche. Por eso que queremos ser respetuosos también por el público de esta zona en ser muy concretos en cuanto al tiempo. Quiero dejar con ustedes ahora al señor Yang Xiang, director chino del Instituto Confucio de la Universidad de Tecnología de Papúa Nueva Guinea. Señor Yang Xiang, por favor, bienvenido. Let's welcome Zhang Xian, the Chinese director from Confucius Institute and Papua New Guinea University of Science and Technology. Hello, hello everyone. Re respect for the Jingwei director, the host of and Chongqing Normal University and all the leaders, all the teachers. Good morning and good evening. I'm very happy. Today I will share Confucius Institute of Papua New Guinea University of Science and Technology. It's a Chinese plus uh, Microsa technology. Now I will share the PowerPoint. Okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, 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 now I say it's a, a cuisine. I, I'm on behalf of the Chongqing Normal, Chongqing Normal University and the Papua New Guinea University. In fact, uh, my Carissa skill in China is not uh, it's not rare, but uh, in Papua New Guinea, it's very, very precious. This project uh, in Fujian province as uh, the leader and uh, signed agreements with the Papua New Guinea agreements and uh, we to the microza into this PNG to cultivate this weed and to teach them how to eat it. So our Confucius Institute rely on this assistance the Papua New Guinea to hold the Chinese plus the my Carissa technology. The general context in which this project was agreed, the general environment of international Chinese language education. It has been nearly 20 years since the Confucius Institutes around the world were first established and gradually developed to different countries and regions around the world. The Confucius Institutes have been teaching Chinese language to students from different countries and regions, different levels, and a different cultural background. And each Confucius Institute bound to develop different characteristics and teaching features in terms of the language and the culture. Uh, I uh, listened to uh, the director's report. Uh, they talked about uh, Chinese Medicine Confucius Institute, Tourism Confucius Institute. So, uh, 
The Chinese Plus project is not our unique part for our Confucius Institute. It's one of the project. Confucius Institute at the University of Technology, Papua New Guinea, is a new Confucius Institute. It established 19 February 2021. The Governor General of PNG, that I and the Deputy Prime Minister Bashe and the Chinese Ambassador to PNG and the President of the PNG government, that I have signed the Memorandum of Understanding. Troy agreement was signed before the transfer. I remember in 20. 19, we signed uh, these uh, agreements. But, uh, but uh, because of the pandemic, up to 2020 in September, the Chinese director, with the help of the foreign university and the embassy, to carry out uh, the sustainable expansion work. The Confucius Institute at the PNG University uh, the third director of Confucius Institute at the University of Rwanda. He worked for more than eight years, has participated in the former Hanban and the Confucius Institute headquarters annual conferences in Shanghai, Kunming, Xi'an, Chengdu, and Changsha, the Global Confucius Institute Conference. Every conference have the new knowledge and the new thinking. And the new inspirations. Back to PNG University. Start from the zero and faced uh, many challenges. When I came to this university, the staff of the countries were full of questions about a Chinese people teaching Chinese language and culture at a university of science and uh, technology. They are full of the expectation and the curiosity. For the staff from other countries, for example, the staff from many countries, for example, USA, India, Philippines, Bangladesh, Indonesia, Australia, etc. They are full of the curiosity for the Chinese people teaching in this, in this university. I faced the a very big difficulty. So, how to make the breakthrough? In this university, it is without an education major and no language major. PNG Technology University is as the Tsinghua University in China. And why do students study Chinese? What do they do with Chinese? And what's the benefit for them to learn Chinese? It made me to think about it. Under this situation, we combined the environment of the PNG University inspired by the the past experiences. The Confucius Institute in Africa was conceived and developed in 2016 with the following in mind. I put forward the specialization, professionalization to the professionalism. Confucius Institute cooperates with the bamboo weaving team of China aid in Rwanda. 
The Confucius Institute cooperates with the Chinese bamboo weaving group. The local students went from learning foreign bamboo weaving te techniques and the master's has in florid English to a Chinese teacher teaching them the techniques and the culture of Chinese bamboo. They learn the Chinese bamboo as well as to learn the Chinese language and Chinese culture. From these measures, they feel they get many knowledge about the Chinese. In 2016, the former Hanban and the Confucius Institute headquarters awarded the Confucius Institute in Rwanda with the title of Global Advanced Confucius Institute. It is a high education environment in Kenji University. Students are serially bored with the school. They, they do not want to enter the classroom, do their homework, and find jobs. And the universities. 70-50% attendance, they can join the test. And the university says it's too high for students, this attendance. In China, this attendance, we don't have the roles. The second, they don't want to do the homework. When they here to do homework, they, they think it's very strange. And some university students, when they graduate, they don't want to find a job. They are unwilling to go back to the countryside. They don't want to go back to the countryside. So in fact, for the graduates, when they graduate from university, and they will face the unemployment. unemployment. The second, in Papua New Guinea, there are 30,000 students graduate from high school, but less than a third of them go on to study at various universities. In fact, there are less than 10 colleges and universities, public, private, and church run in Papua New Guinea. It's limited in Papua New Guinea. And let's look at the facilities. The educational facilities are poor. The hardware is very, very poor. In university, the basketball court. There are two basketball courts. Please, you can resume because we are finishing the time. Okay, thank you. 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 And the internet is in 3G and 4G, and often frequent power costs and no internet access. So in terms of for software, there is no need to talk about it. In Papua New Guinea University to learn the Chinese. The Confucius Institute in conjunction with Chinese companies and organizations helps the students to find the employment and create the job opportunities. So China's assistance to PNG's mycorrhiza technology is also an excellent platform for employment. So the Confucius Institute took an initiative to cooperate with the China Aid Mycorrhiza Unit in Papua New Guinea. On each occasion, the Vice Rector, Prof. Kogana, and the Director, David Chen, was present. So we often have several round trips due to the hundreds of kilometers between the two places and rough roads. And under the support of CLEC, with assistance with it. For the leaders from the America and the Oceania region. Confucius Institute 
with the Fujian Agriculture and the First University. They provide the weed and the skill. 种植人员、专家到巴新科技大学孔子学，实地的。Also sent the microbial experts to the Confucius Institute to provide the guidance on the ground. 中文学生了解菌菇的生长环境。The Confucius Institute organized the Chinese students to learn about the environment of the mushroom production, spending a total of nearly 200 hours of lessons. Students were taught to write Chinese characters and learn some oral Chinese. Uh, professor, time is over. Uh, sorry, allow me one minute to finish the conclusion. Okay. Uh, 好，这是我们开启项目的一些照片。This is our project photos. This is a my my Korea ceremony. This is the forum of the my Korea. 然后这是我们种出来的菌菇。It is a great result. This, finally, we have at last, this, some training classes. We hold some training classes. We hold in the land, in the forest. This is our certificate for our students. This is a certificate for our students. It is a ceremony for the students. At last. Thank you for all the supporters. For the Confucius Institute headquarters in 2014 in Chongqing Normal University, give me so much support. Now, the CLEC supports the Chongqing Normal University's. Of course, in Papua New Guinea, some leaders support. My partners, the foreign director David Chen, the, the Chinese embassy in Papua New Guinea, and the Chinese emperors, Chinese institutions, and Chinese communities. Special thanks to the Professor Lin Yingxin of the Chinese Microsoft Group in PNG and others. Thank you so much. All the best to you all. Thank you. Muchas gracias, director. Bueno, hemos visto hoy día una cantidad de muy buenas experiencias respecto de Chino Más. Chino más, debido a que es muy tarde en América Latina y la gente ya se está yendo, queremos dejarles para aquellos interesados en América Latina y el Caribe en estos proyectos de Chino más nuestros contactos de la Fundación CLEC, Oficina Regional para América Latina y el Caribe. Quisiera además decirle que están todos invitados a todas las actividades que estamos organizando. Quisiera darles el agradecimiento grande desde Chile a todos por su participación en la mañana en China, mediodía en Australia y el Caribe y en la noche en América Latina y el Caribe. Esperamos contar con ustedes con el entusiasmo Contáctenos y podemos trabajar junto en estos importantes proyectos de Chino Más Especialidad. Muchas gracias Thank y muy, so buenas, muy buenos días. And, uh, Queremos good que evening and uh, good morning. Una foto, por favor. Uh, Roberto Rosindo, ¿podría escucharme? Sí, te escucho. ¿Podría escucharme? Sí. No uh, entiendo. Uh, Roberto. Todavía nos queda un discurso de la señora Yu Ping porque recién su discurso fue eh, dejado a la, a la mitad. Entonces necesitamos dar cinco o, o, o seis minutos a ella. Perfecto, señora Wen Ping. Perfecto. Internet problems. Today, in Melbourne, as a bad weather to influence our the internet, 
I will share the PowerPoint. Thank you so much. Just now I introduced myself and now I will briefly introduce our school and uh, some relevant uh, activities uh, for Chinese people. Next page. Thank you. My university, the Australia, belong to the Advantage Group. And uh, it's the first private enterprise group higher education and vocational education in China to implement overseas schooling. Next page, thank you. This uh, two and we, pro we, we provide uh, different levels courses. As the Australia schools, we we build a platform for China and Australia, and we hold many activities as uh, the development of China and Australia, the Chinese plus projects and uh, attach more importance. And we realized that in the China, Australia and uh, the in decrease of the Chinese learners and uh, the different average uh, division. And next, uh, I will introduce some activities. As the Chunghui Cup is a big activities in Melbourne. We have the, we successfully promote the projects and some of the projects already launched in China and get the support from the government and some enterprises for the work have the deep. And the next one is the South Airline Club is supported by the South Airlines. It's heard that it's the biggest students activities and the South Airline will sponsor the 25 airplane tickets and including five the roundways. In 2019, for example, for example, the topic is my dream destination. For the competition from the South Airline and other institutions, and have a serious training about South Airlines, we received more than 140 papers from different regions students, including Italian and Dubai students. And they, based on the topic of Arhu and other street culture, another one is a student from the Vietnam. He connected Beijing and uh, uh, immortal struggle as his dream. It's reviewed the Chinese traditional culture and uh, in Australia in use have a big influence. And the expo in Australia, it's appeared more than 2000 uh, enterprises to join. Besides it, uh, before pandemic, uh, we do many interesting plans, including cooperating with Huawei, with the Hainan Airlines, and to bring the students from Victoria to Australia. At the same time, we made uh, some of the ordered uh, enterprise training 
including the language communication, the finance. Including the Sun Zi Bing Fa, most attractive. Because of、uh, enterprises and consumers, and our cooperation is、uh, Chinese people, so our lectures is very popular for Chinese people. And、uh, in the recent years, we made some influential events, and、uh, now I will introduce the recent recent projects. So thank you so much for the CLEC support. From 2021, we have made、uh, four Chinese Plus、uh, projects and、uh, the Chinese Bridge projects. And now we are holding a Yue Cuisine projects. And、uh, for the locals, we will provide the Yue Cuisine. And we we invite some professors for Yue cuisine to teach us in twenty twenty two January. We open we will open this class in twenty twenty three January. At the same time, we will introduce a project in Jinan University in Melbourne branches. It is a basic early basis and.、Uh, In Jinan University, the international Chinese Chinese education of the master course, and all the courses were teached in Melbourne. And when they graduate, they can get the certificate from the two universities. We hope, under the two science efforts for the international Chinese teacher. We try our best to muchas gracias y muy interesante, doctora Yu Ping. Quisiera ahora pedirles a todos que enciendan sus cámaras para sacar una foto de la actividad. Por favor, si todos pueden prender la cámara. Quiero decirles además que esto estará publicado en nuestras redes sociales, la grabación de esto y sobre todo para aquellas personas de América Latina y el Caribe, los institutos Confucios y los demás será enviada a los mails de las universidades igual debido que aquí ya es muy tarde y no mucha gente se podía conectar. Así que hacemos una foto, sonrisas. Perfecto, Andrea es la fotógrafa. Estupendo, muchas gracias a todos. Muchas、Thank、gracias. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias por sus fantásticas experiencias sobre chino más y esperamos vernos pronto de nuevo en una actividad de CLEC, oficina regional de América Latina y el Caribe. Adiós. Buenas noches. Good evening. Good evening. Good morning.